Hey there all beer lovers, thanks for joining me tonight guys for this beer review. Tonight we are going traditional. Swedish tradition and Swedish old beer tradition guys, that's what's on the table tonight. We are going down south to the city of Falkenberg to Falken. Uh, old regional brewery. Today they are owned by Carlsberg. We are taking a look at their Bajoskt or Bavarian in English. The pride of Falkenberg, they say, 500 milliliter can weighing in at 5.2%. Could taste barley malt, they say, and that's it. There you go, guys. There you go, the Falcon there. Bajoskt, right, and we got the matching glass, of course, the uh, Falcon pint glass. With that said, let's go traditional, see what we get. Alrighty, alright, see what we get. So, there we go, good deal of smoke. So this is a dark lager, kind of a, uh, more of a uh, Vienna style dark lager. Very traditional, guys. Uh, uh, it's a beer mass produced. It's a beer that is available everywhere in Sweden. You can find it right about everywhere. Uh, but it's a very, very traditional beer and a lot of people like it. So I thought to myself, I uh, picked it up, uh, I think it was last week actually, thought I will just have to give it a go. Uh, I have had it, I think, before, but it has to be, I don't know, decades ago. It's not a craft beer by any means, by any stretch of the imagination, guys. But, I mean, variety is the spice of life. And I thought, let's give it a go, see what we get, guys. So, we've got a finger's worth of a uh, off-white head, small bubbles on top, a little bit of chill haze on the glass, uh, on the walls of the glass, good deal of carbonation, a little bit of an amber look to the beer, color-wise color there. Let's go see what we have. Let's give it a sniff. Yeah, sweet. Sweet, bready, malty, that's what I get. Yeah, very bready, sweet bread, sweet dough. A lot of malt crammed into that pint. But I mean, it's not a bad smell, guys. I have to be honest, doesn't smell bad. Smells pretty decent. So with that said, let's go, let's dive in and see what we have. Cheers all. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, one one more quick sip before we start to dissect the beer. Okay, so here's the deal. To be honest, not that bad. It's not bad, guys. For what it is, a traditional beer, traditional dark Swedish lager, mass-produced... It is all right. You got a good malty body, mid-level, but a little bit towards a little bit more richer body. Very sweet, very malty, a little bit of dark syrup, bre dark bread, sweet dark bread, dark malt, that's what I get. With a little bit of a bitter whack at the back end, actually. <clears throat> oh, a lot of carbonation there. But I mean, as as far as a traditional beer goes, a traditional dark lager, not bad. Final sip. To be honest, it's nothing groundbreaking. Far from it. I mean, it is a traditional decent dark lager it's drinkable uh, but it's a little bit better than i thought actually it's one of the better uh tra traditional uh cheap uh because it's cheap uh 
traditional cheap uh traditional beers basically that's what i'm trying to say here uh it's one of the better ones uh, if you compare it with with others uh, and i actually picked up a few of these old school traditional swedish uh, mass produced beers and this is uh, w- one of the better ones for me guys uh, owned by Carlsberg, as i said uh, falcon byosked 5.2 percent uh cheap beer easy drinking uh not that bad Although very simple, multi-sweet, but it's not bad. Three out of five. Thank you for watching.